Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how you can set up your grinds, whether you're doing the white tail great one grind, the red deer grind, or grinding for any animal you want. So let's get right into it. So first things first, pick your map. We are currently on Rancho. I'll show you how I set up my grind, how everything works, and what works best for me. Now before you start doing anything, you're going to want to buy a bunch of tents, as it'll make your life a whole lot easier in the next step. Once you've got all your tents, it's time to get started. Start by finding all of the drink zones for whatever animal you're grinding. If you happen to be doing the Whitetail Great One grind on Rancho, you only have eight lakes to worry about. You've got the top middle lake, the lake in the top right, Boot Lake, Middle Lake, Heart Lake, Ghost Lake, Crab Claw Lake, and Exclamation Lake. If you don't know the drink times of your animals, you can check out our Discord through the link in the description and you'll have access to all the information you need about every animal on every map. When you're searching for your zones, make sure not to use a quad. It's better to walk and use your binoculars and scan the banks. That way you don't spook anything off. As tempting as it may be, try to refrain from shooting any bucks while you're looking for your zones. It'll make your life a little more difficult when you have to go back and check all of your zones, even if you're not going to hunt them. While you're searching for your zones, if you come across one that you really like, go ahead and place one of your tents down. Just make sure it's at least 250 meters away, that way the animals won't spook when you teleport to it. Once you've found all of your zones, you can go ahead and start placing tripods at all of your favorite zones where your tents are at. It's important to think about the placement of your tripods. If you're smart about it, you can hunt multiple zones over one tripod. If you look at my map, I hunt three zones with this one tripod. So if you're wondering why I have tents on the zones that I'm hunting, it's so that I can easily fast travel to pick up the animals I've just shot. But now that you have all of your zones set up, it's time to figure out the loadout. For my personal loadout for Whitetail, I like to bring the 22, the M1, and the bow for when I do have the Great One show up. I also bring along a deer grunt collar, and I carry an extra tent just in case. The scope that I like to use is the Hyperion 4-8x42 rifle scope. I also like to use the Apex View rangefinder binoculars. That way I know how far away I need to set my tripod stand up and how far away my zones are from me. When doing the grind, it's all about efficiency. So there are a couple perks that you should be aware of that'll make your life a little bit easier. The first one is in rifles and it's muscle memory. You want to unlock both levels. That way you unlock the ability to ready your next shot without leaving your scope. And you can also increase the ready speed after firing. So that way if you're using a bolt action, you can get that follow up shot much faster. The second one in rifling, is the zeroing perk. Unlocking both levels of this will allow you to change your zeroing range for 300 meters, 150 meters, and 75 meters. The last perk is under shotguns and it's recoil management. You wanna get all three levels of this. This allows you to have less recoil when firing and being able to fire a follow-up shot a lot sooner. If you watch my streams, you'll notice I like to flick around and shoot three or four deer at one time. This is how I'm able to do that. Now that you've got everything set up, it's time to start grinding. First thing that I do is I set my time to 31 minutes after the initial drink time. So if your drink time starts at 8 o'clock, some of them will start right at 8, some will start at 8.30. If you set it to 8.31, all of your animals will be there as soon as you go to the zones. Let's talk about how the respawn system works. The respawn system in Call of the Wild is fairly simple to understand. Males respawn as males. Females respond as females. Simple as that. So while doing your grind, make sure you're only killing the males. Typically, you want to shoot the bigger males that are in the herd. The bigger they are, the better chance they have to respond as something bigger, or to respond as a diamond, or even a great one. I find it best to only shoot about two to three animals out of your zone at a time. Personally, I will shoot two. If I have more than two really big deer, I'll shoot three. This allows the game to be able to process all of the respawns a little bit easier and that way you won't be stuck with zones not respawning. So with this herd, I'm going to take this level 2 and I'll take this level 1 right here. Let's do it. Now 
and those two are down. Now I'll use my tent on the other side to fast travel. This one's actually a pretty nice deer. Scored 218. Not a bad one. We should get a good respawn out of him. And this little guy will give us some type of respawn. You can't get much smaller than it. If you watch my streams, you'll probably notice that I go to the main menu quite often. And I do that because the game likes to not populate your herds after a while. So the best way I've found to get around that is once you change your time back, if you go to your first zone and you don't see deer there, go to the main menu, come back in, go back to the zone, and all the deer should be there. So that's pretty much all you need to know about how to set up a grind. If you do have any questions, you can always hop in the Discord, ask a question in there, or you can hop in one of the live streams and I'd be more than happy to answer your question. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps the algorithm so, so much. Helps us get discovered and grow. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys found this helpful and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.